Thanks, Alex. And if you're looking for something fascinating and just a bit odd, you can head on down to the Pueblo Railway Museum and park nearby. They have a small handful of sci-fi looking trains. These are test vehicles from a bygone era. News 5's John McMichael gives us a peek back in time and a look at the speed that could have been. Out at the Pueblo Railway Museum, you can find a set of rocket cars or trains. Yes, three of them, and each one had a different job to do. Tested in the 1970s at what used to be called the Pueblo High Speed Ground Test Center, each one is unique. All of these are one of a kind, right, Ron? And there ain't going to make no more. While we're walking this way, why don't you tell me, when people walk up and see this thing, what are they saying? They think it's a spaceship. <laughs> they really do, and uh, if I'm around over there, and they're outside the fence looking at them. I'll tell them, come on in the fence and look at them. And I'll tell them about them and show them how they worked and give them the story of them. So let's lead back through time real quick and take a look at these futuristic contraptions. This is the arrow, the arrow train. It's the monorail hovercraft. Seating 60 people and reaching speeds of 150 miles an hour, it was still slow compared to the next train, which could rocket at about 250 miles per hour. It has a jet engine inside, a turbo shaft, running a generator. It's kind of a unique thing. It's a bullet on wheels. And finally, there's the true hovercraft. And with design input from NASA, it came out looking like a space shuttle. We got up to around 300 miles an hour out here at the test center. What are those, those three things on the top? Jets. Jets. There's three up there and there's one inside. So why are these sci-fi looking vehicles parked here? Apparently, just a few years after testing started, DOT funding dried up, the projects were scrapped, and the trains got donated to the city. From there, they were housed for years at the Weisbrot before needing to be rehoused. Well, the city wants to move them, and so they're willing to give them to someone that can not exactly house them, but take them on. And so the Pueblo Railway Foundation did just that. Jerry looked over to those pictures. He, he went like this, he's pointed to them. He said, you see those? I said, yeah. He said, you know where they're at? And I said, yeah. He said, get them. Fast forward about four to five years and about $55,000, and the trains had another new home. And believe you me, buddy, that was not easy. So now, and for the past several years, and for years to come, you can see these trains from a tomorrow that never happened, any old time. The way they were built and what they did and the history behind them, to me, that's worth saving. In Pueblo, John McMichael, News 5. And the Pueblo Railway Foundation has big plans for the next few years. That includes general construction and ultimately moving these rocket cars to a more permanent location under shelter. Of course, you can find more information at PuebloRailway.org. We'll be right back after this.